Hello everyone, this is Oxeus and welcome to episode 9 of Agrarian Skies 2. So thank you everyone who commented on um, the last video when I asked did you want to see more quests or more building. The general consensus seems to be carry on with the quests, so I will do that for now. However, as I said last episode, I really want to get into Mine Factory Reloaded because, you know, th there's stuff that needs doing. So, I have quests ready to go. Oh yes, and let's see if one of them, if I'm able to complete one of them right now. So in here, no, no, oh. So I have been sifting this grass and if we look at uses here, we can get a tiger wood sapling from it. And one of the quests is here somewhere. <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? This one? No. This one? No. It's one of them. It's probably just right there in learning to skyblock, isn't it? Yes. Ha. <laughs> It wants me to get a tiger wood sapling. Now, I have sifted a stack of this now. And I've put some fortune upgrades in there. And I've managed to get this out of it and one um, blackberry bush. That's all I've got out of it, so that's a bit rubbish. Um, also, one of the other quests to get um, this ghast here. It says crushed netherrack gives you ghast tears as well as ore chunks. Now... I put in an entire stack of crushed netherrack, and this is all I got out of it, these four bits of broken gold, copper, nickel, and iron. And if I look up netherrack, no, how about I look up crushed netherrack, and go to uses, it doesn't even show a ghast tier on there anymore, so I don't know if that changed in the latest upgrade, but it's certainly not there anymore. So I sifted um, a stack of soul sand and I got these items so from this lot of nether quartz here to this lot of nether quartz here this is what I got plus another three nether quartz which I've already taken out so let's take those gas tiers because we're going to need them and go up here I really need to go do something about that as well so gas tier 100% we get another gas tier thank you very much now we have this quartz grindstone so let's start with that so we're going to need a wooden gear I really should have emptied out my inventory before this but never mind so to make a grindstone oh let's get rid of that so off you go go away yes grindstone so we need one wooden gear, which is made with four sticks, three pieces of smooth stone, two cobblestone, and three types of quartz, whether it be certus quartz, crystal, nether quartz, or the charged one. Okay, so there we have that. It also wants us to make a grindstone, and I've just realized I don't have enough sticks. We can certainly do that. And there is the crank that goes on top of it. And we get a full, we could have a reward bag or a full heart. I'm going to go with the reward bag. Um, do I have a, f what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I doing? Nope. Let's get rid of those. So, reward bag is a good reward bag. And we get an umbral rose. Okay. Let's just have a look at that umbral rose. It comes from Forbidden Magic. Okay, well, I'm just going to throw that at the bottom of there for now. I don't need it right now. Okay, now the next one I want to do is make this precious doll, which for that we need five porcelain clay and one emerald. And that is made in that pattern. And it could also be a diamond that you use. I'm going to use an emerald because I have more of them and I get a second one there and then it wants us to make an angry doll now the angry doll is quite good it helps you to spawn a blaze if you put it in a stone barrel full of lava 
you would right click on it with your angry doll and that would make a blaze. So let's see what it takes to make an angry doll. It wants blaze powder, glowstone, redstone and nether wart. Well, I have all of that. Actually, I have this just sitting around. Because of my auto packager, it's making all of my glowstone into uh, into the glowstone blocks. Um, yeah, it's not really handy. It means I have to pulverize it. Uh, right, we right. Great. We need one, two, three, four of those. One redstone we have, and nether wart. Did I use that? Did I? Did I not? I probably did, so let's get some more there. Right. Let's take a quick run back upstairs again. And let's make this angry doll. There we are. We've got that, and it gives us a blaze rod, which is great. We're just going to throw all of those in there for now. Right, so we're still working on that one, and I am not yet going to the nether. So that's about all I can do in learning to skyblock right now. Let's take a look at Sky Farm. Now, if you remember, we did the pressing, we made the presser, and then it wants soy milk and silk and tofu. So in order to make that, you put, and I've got some here. Let's just do it with one. So you put your soybean into the top there, and it doesn't need any power at all and it will squeeze it down and turn it into soy milk okay and then if you put your soy milk in there it will squeeze it down and turn it into silken tofu so I'm going to keep one of those and put those in there and we've got that and it gives us raw clam well thank you very much raw clam in you go and we'll put all of that in there as it's food so we've done that and it's not opened up anything else now. So now we've got irrigation. So we want all of these things here. So with irrigation, it wants us to make an irrigation channel, which is made just like that, which is normally how we would make a bowl. But in this, it makes the irrigation channel. And then with one of those, we want to use that and that, and that gets us a wooden channel valve. And I should be able to take out the rest here, maybe. That's what I need. And then we want to make... Let me think about this. Ah, yes, the tank, which is made like that. I'm probably going to want a few of those. There we are. And then last but not least, it wants, to make the, wants us to make the sprinkler. Now let's see if I can remember how to do this. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, you and a bucket, other way around. There we are, sprinkler. And that's all of those, and we get a reward bag and some more sprinklers. Now these are really handy, and what I will do is, um, in the next episode, I will set them up and show you how they work. What they do, ultimately, is they stop you from needing to use random bits of water so if we look over here I've got this water that's flowing down out into the void in the middle now with the sprinkler system with that whole irrigation system I don't need this water here it will do it all for me and it will keep the water hydrated so I will be going over to that eventually let's take a look at this bag and we can get another rose uh, okay And then we want to make this market, which I believe is that. We want that in the middle, something like that, and something like that, yep. Yeah. And we get the market. Now let's just have a quick read of what this says. The market block will be a big help for people who don't care to research every mutation on their own. Just buy the saplings and seeds you want. And I'll claim those rewards. So why not? seeing as this is where I'm doing everything put the market there and let's have a look so for an emerald I can get an asparagus seed barley bean beet 
broccoli, cauliflower, celery, so on and so forth. Okay. I think I will leave that for now. I'm not so worried about... I've got quite a few seeds going on. I'm quite happy with how I'm doing things. Wow. Pig, chicken, cow, sheep. Brilliant. I have a feeling I'm going to need some of those soon. So we've done that. We've done everything that we can possibly do in Sky Farm right now. Tinker Toys I had nothing prepared for. Storage Wars I don't think I did either. Power, no. Assembly, ah yes. We want to make the auto spawner and the reusable safari net. And this is where... I can't put everything in there right now. This is what I'm looking for. I want to get into Mine Factory Reloaded. So, in order to make the auto spawner, we're going to need a machine frame. That. Uh, <laughs> I have to think about this. Uh, we need... Let's get that out. We need to turn these slime balls and the blaze powders, put them together to make magma cream. Magma... Something like that. That's not for it. That goes there. Ah ha ha! Look at that! I did it! Auto spawner! Hooray! And then we need one of those gas tears back. There we are. And we're going to use four ender pearls and a gas tear to make a safari net reusable. And what we can do with that, if I take this and have a look at a uh, mob hunter. It wants me to kill 30 piggies. Well, fine. There's an easy way to do that. Did I make a pig? Did I make a pig? Hi. Hi things. No, I didn't make a pig. Right. So, did I have a spawn? I did. Now, I do want to spawn it somewhere safe because obviously they do attack. Hmm. Where can I spawn him that is safe? Apart from down there. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to use this reusable safari net. Right click on him. And now we've got him captured and we've got the pig in the safari net. So, my next job will be to create an area where I can use that auto spawner to start spawning pigs. In this case, pigs. Right. But not only do we have the auto spawner, the auto spawner needs mob essence to work, which means that it needs to kill something first to create mob essence. So how are we going to do that? That's the question. You're just about surviving. Let's just give it some help there. I don't like things left out in the open that might cause stuff to spawn. I'll get rid of that. Oh wow, huge tree. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. So, is that all of my quests? That's everything out of there. That is all of the quests that I had lined up, so let's just go through and make sure I've collect everything that was needed. So, that one, we get a full heart and a single use safari net, which we don't open those. No, no. We don't We don't know what's going to come out of that. So we save those for when it's we have somewhere safe that we can open them with. Right. And it wants us to make auto magic. Ah, we don't need to do that yet. Retriever. What did we need for the retrievers? I really would like to get that quest done. Ah, Enderium. Oh yes, I remember now. I said I was going to make the... Uh, can't think of the word. Induction smelter. Here we are. Invar. Invar. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Let's just quickly do this then. I need one of those. Uh, did we need? No. 
Okay, we've got Invar there, we've got Invar downstairs as well. So let's just one, two, three, four, you make that. We need four of you. That there. Something like this. That's us that. You can only pour them out, can you? Great. Just what I wanted to hear. Got a load of Invar and we can only pour out the gears. Like that. Got the Invar in the bottom, yes. <laughs> Spread a lead gear as well. Brilliant. Uh, yep. Why are you still going? Why? I told you no. No, no. Ah, well. I don't really mind. Let's throw that in there. So, do we have everything? Not quite. That. And there is our induction smelter. So let's take this downstairs now. And I'm going to throw it on this line just because I can. There. I'll take all of that out. Lock flux slot. Hmm. Okay. And the reason why I wanted one of those was for the enderium. Now if we look at enderium here. We can make the enderium blend, that's fine. But in order to make the ingots, we need the blend and we need pyrothium dust. We need to put those together in the induction smelter or, you know, resonant, shiny, tin. Okay, let's go back. So, we need to make some pyrothium, which we now can do because we've got some sulfur in here. We need to make some coal dust. So if I just have a little look in here, take one block out, make some coal dust. We're gonna need some blaze powder. Four will do. And a crafting table. Put all of that together. And that gets us some of that. Now we also need, obviously, to mix it with this. So the pulverized stuff, fine. But we need this resonant ender. And to make that, we need to make a magma crucible. Because I believe, if I come back to this, if we put it in there, is that going to, you know what, let's give it a go. The last thing I tried to do in there, it needed to be quite hot and it really didn't want to know. So we need four ender pearls for one bucket, and I actually don't have a bucket right now. Right, let's just see what happens, I just want to know. Put in four ender pearls there. Now when I tried this with redstone, it got so hot and then it stopped and didn't go any higher. So I'm not really sure whether it's going to work or not. But we shall give it a go. So if we have a look through here, Anywhere? No. 
Ah. If we have res 1000, which we've got, shiny metal, molten tin. So we want one ingot's worth of silver, one ingot's worth of platinum, and two ingot's worth of tin. Should make... <gasps> it's worked. Okay. So, in that case, we want... I am... Uh, one of you, one of you, one of you. Tin, platinum, silver. And I know it was different, what I was just looking at. I know it was different. And that's... The tin is gonna because those blocks will make us two ingots. So we'll have an ingot left of the shiny and the silver, but that's fine. Yay. Okay. Uh I'm going to Make sure that I don't lose that. I'm going to do that. We want our ingot cast. <sighs> and it is doing it, for goodness sake. Right, get in there. Now go. That should be all of it. Give me that. So we wanted to make the retriever. All of this. <laughs> Just for that. Okay. Eye of Ender. Yep, I'm going to need another one of these. Thank you. If I can get this done, then I will be very pleased. One of you. 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 Makes the Eye of Ender. Two iron. And a piece of glass. Let's do this. Go. Yay! Reward bag. Ha. Okay. So, last reward bag, which is another good cackle reward. Educational five. <laughs> Okay then. So guys, I am going to call it here for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all of my lovely new subscribers who have showed their support by subscribing. And thank you, of course, to all of you who have already subscribed and who have been supporting me for a while now. I really do appreciate you all. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave me a comment. Tell me what you enjoyed. Also, make sure to hit that like button. If you really didn't enjoy this episode, leave me a comment. Tell me what you didn't like. It is all good to me. And I will see you on the next episode of Agrarian Skies. This has been Soxaeus. Take care. Bye-bye.